Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Today we're going to be looking at, well, this evening, we're going to be looking at homotopy equivalents. Okay, so we're going to look at what it means for two topological spaces to be homotopic. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight in with the definition. Okay. Also, I really like this pink pen, I really like the colour, so, sorry. Definition. Given, I, sorry about that. Given two topological spaces, S and T, okay? S is homotopic to T, that's how we write it. If there exists F, which goes from S to T, and G, sorry, continuous maps, continuous maps, maps, continuous maps, F, which go from S to T, and G, which goes from T to S, okay, such that F compose G um, of X, I guess, is homotopic to the identity in T, and G compose F of x is homotopic to the identity in s. Okay? So now, let's look at an example which will also introduce the, defin the definition of what it means for two spaces to be contract, uh, for a space to be contractible, okay? So let's look at an example. If we have the closed interval between zero and one, is it homotopic to the to the single point zero? Okay, that's the question we're asking. Claim proof. Well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have F, which takes you from the closed interval between 0 and 1, and just output 0, defined as F of X equals 0 for all X in the closed interval between 0 and 1. Okay, and G which takes you from zero to zero to um, the closed interval between zero and one. Defined as G of zero equals zero. Okay? Now, if we take the composition of both of these, we have F composed G of X. Well, this Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. F compose G takes you from zero and outputs zero. Okay? Hence it is it is homotopic to the identity map. Um, okay. And G compose F of X is equal to G of F of X is equal to G of zero is equal to zero. Okay. And um, and this function here is homotopic to the identity 
um, from 0, 1 to 0, 1 via the homotopy f of x t is equal to 1 minus t times x. Why is this? Because that would imply that f of x 0 is equal to x, okay? And that f of x 1 is equal to 0, okay? Hence, x is being homotopic to 0. But remember that the identity which goes from 0, 1 to 0, 1 is f of x equals x. Okay, so f of x is homotopic to 0. Okay, and a space such as the closed interval between 0 and 1, okay, which is homotopic to a single point is called contractible. And now I'm actually going to show that the zero sphere cannot be contractible. Okay? So now let's take a quick look at a proposition. I propose Okay, I propose that the zero sphere isn't contractible. Yes, I know. <sighs> isn't contractible. Okay. Now the proof is as follows. So suppose that it is contractible, okay? Okay, if S, the zero sphere were contractible, okay, this means there exists f which goes from the zeros um yeah the zero sphere to zero okay and g which goes from zero to the zero uh, to the zero sphere okay such that well f compose g must be the identity okay that's that must be true but g compose f must be homotopic to the identity must be homotopic to the identity map which of s zero okay i'm going to shorten it like this okay of the zero sphere. So now we're going to show that this can't be true. So if they are homotopic, this means this means that there exists some capital F of x t, which takes you from the zero sphere cross i and outputs you outputs elements of the zero sphere. Okay, and it has to be homotopic to the identity, so f of x t such that um, f of x 0 is equal to x and f of x 1 is equal to uh, g of f of x which is equal to g of zero. Okay, but now we can define a new function h, which takes you from i to the zero sphere, not the two sphere, the zero sphere. Okay, such that h of t is equal to capital F of negative g of zero, t. Okay, meaning that h of 
0 is equal to, well, remember that f of x, 0 is equal to x, so x in this case is negative g of 0, and that h of 1 is equal to, well, f of x, f of x1 is equal to g of 0, so when we plug in 1 here, it's g of 0, hence, now we've shown that h is a surjection, okay, and therefore, because h is a surjection, we've arrived at a contradiction, because there can't be, remember, watch the video on connectivity, because the zero sphere is not connected, and the closed interval between zero and one is connected, we can't have a continuous surjection between them, okay? Contradiction. Okay, therefore, um, I'll just draw a box. Okay? And that is how, that is a typical example of how we can show that the zero sphere is not contractible. Now I'm going to show a quick property about connected spaces and homotopy equivalents. And then I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, so now we're going to prove that if x is connected, y is disconnected, then that implies that x is not homotopic to y. Okay, so now the proof is as follows. Okay, assume that they are. That means that there exists some f which goes from x to y and g which goes from y to x such that uh, f composed g is homotopic to the identity in y. Okay, so basically there exists a homotopy capital F of x t um, such that f of x0 is equal to f of g of x and f of x1 is just equal to x for all x and y. Okay? Now, because y is disconnected, y is equal to some disjoint union of u, sorry, I, I need to get faster, hold on, yeah, that was good, uh, u disjoint union v, okay, because y is disconnected, now, because y is connected, there's also a disconnected, sorry, there's also a continuous surjection p, which takes you from y to the zero sphere, okay, such that p of um, y is equal to 1 if y is in u, or p of y is equal to negative 1 if y is in v. Okay? Now, now we can define h from i to the zero sphere as follows h of t is equal to p of capital F of v t okay now what this means is h of zero is equal to p of f of v zero which is equal to p of well what's f of x zero f of g of x okay okay that was terrible hold on let me one two three okay but now because x is connected um the image of f 
must be in one of the subsets, but for now, let's say it's in U, hence why we chose f of v, okay? And remember that p of y is equal to 1 if y is in U, so this equals p of, uh, this equals 1, basically, okay? Because this ends up being in U, okay, by the connectivity of, uh, by the connectivity of x, the image of f must be contained in one of them, so that we picked u. Okay, if we picked v, this inside here would be u. Okay, but now h of 1 is equal to what? It's equal to p of f of v of 1, which is equal to p of f of x1 is equal to x is p of v, which is equal to negative 1. Okay, thus h is a surjection. Thus, we have a contradiction, which I believe is written like this. I'm not sure, but I think it's written like this. And yeah, we can draw a box too. Actually, no, this is way cooler. Okay, and for now, we are finished. I think this is a very, very cool topic, algebraic topology. So, if everything goes to schedule, keep your ears peeled. Ears, eyes, same thing. Okay, by Sunday, I will have a video on vector fields featuring the Harry Ball theorem. But tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a calculation about the one sphere which has which is really cool in my opinion okay and i'll see you in the next video for that goodbye